G'day YouTube, how are you going? Uh, it's been a while since my last video um, and it's probably going to be a while uh, before I get down to the property again as I've been working quite a lot lately. Uh, this is the um, off-grid system down in my shed. This is the uh, software from Jeremy O'Hara and this morning is the first time in about two weeks since I've been able to see it. Um, I use Google Chrome Remote Desktop to access the computers down there and if you see down the bottom there it just says to you the last online and <clears throat> this is the shed system here and this morning it came back again now I've Western Power and Synergy in Western Australia have got horribly unreliable power systems and about two weeks ago there was a power outage down at the block and my modem and router for the satellite system um, when the power came back on it locked up so I had no access to uh, the site down there and that happens quite often and then obviously there's been a now out, another power outage um, this morning and or sometime last night and it's come back again so I thought well how, how is there a, a way that I can remotely reset or power cycle my modem um, while I'm not there so I had a bit of a look around on Google and found this. This is a 3G eye socket. So it's basically a power socket that uses the 3G mobile network to remotely access and uh, turn on and off a relay to uh, turn the outlet on and off. So it plugs into the power point, powers up, monitors the power and through an app or via text message you can turn the relay on and off but it does more than that. It also lets you know via text when the power goes out and when the power comes back which I thought was uh, pretty snazzy so I bought one. So this is a bit of an unboxing. So it does come out for quite a few different countries. Uh, works with all cell phones apparently. Um, because it works via SMS you don't have to have a smartphone. You can use the older style SMS phones. Um, it does have an app if you do have a smartphone, but all that does is literally give you a uh, GUI graphical user interface to automatically send a text message via the app. That just talks about <clears throat> damaging the SIM card socket. There's a user manual for English and it's very very comprehensive there's quite a lot of settings involved and this is it sim card goes in down the bottom there that uh, three and a half millimeter jack is for a external temperature sensor there's a small reset hole there that's just an LED that tells you whether or not the outlet is turned on or off there's a power LED and there is an online LED to tell you whether it's connected to the 3G network or not. And that's pretty much it. Fairly large. Has quite a decent sized lithium battery in there. When the power does go out, like it is at the moment, <clears throat> the lithium battery is there so it can send you the few text messages to say that uh, the power has gone out and then it goes into a deep sleep mode. And what I'll do is I'll get the lead and plug it in and I'll show you it starting up. Okay, so I've just got my mobile phone there. 
Um, got an extension lead, so I'll very carefully plug this in with one hand. And you'll see the power light is on, the output light is on, online solid means it's searching for a network and when it finds the network it will start flashing slowly. So it's found a network. And my phone has got a message and it says power restored. And there you go. So if I turn it back off again, just by unplugging it, power supply was interrupted, device going into shutdown now. And then basically it powers itself down. And after a few more seconds, it should turn off. Now the output, there is different um, settings for the output. Um, I've got mine as remember last state. So basically it's just gonna be always on. Uh, if the, when the power comes back, the relay will turn on. And uh, that's what I'm gonna be using for the um, remote resetting of my unreliable NBN satellite modem. That should send another message in a second. There it goes, power restored. So, I do have the app installed somewhere in here. And there's just a list of all the different uh, commands. And in this case, I want to turn off the relay. And there it is off. And then there's another text message saying that the socket is off. And then after a couple of minutes to let everything reset itself and all the rest of it back down there, Turn it back on again. Message was received, transmitted. Realize back on. And then there's a confirmation to say that the power socket is back on. That's just one another feature. You can actually not have that um, if you want to conserve your data plan or whatever you need to use. I've just got a $10 prepaid SIM in this thing. Um, no, it's you know ten dollars a month, whatever else, but um, it's a small price to pay uh, in my instance because I've got my uh, security cameras and stuff down there, so I can get a login and all the rest of it. Also, being able to have the solar system, um, you know, two weeks I haven't been able to see what's going on, so anything could have happened to the system while I haven't been down there. So it's just a uh, insurance policy if you like to be able to keep an eye on things anyway that's uh all there is to be about that like i said there is heaps of settings that look the the manual is full of information it is quite in depth um it took me a couple of hours to read through all this and decide on what features i needed to use and what features i didn't need to use there is an Australian um, retailer in Melbourne in Victoria. Um, I'll put a link in the description below with their details. Uh, I paid, and this is gonna hurt a lot of people, but um, like I said, it's cheap insurance for me, uh, $310 delivered. 
obviously if you're in Melbourne it's going to be uh, able to go and pick it up um, which will save you I think it was $20, $20 or $25 or something for postage um, so yeah but anyway like I said if you've got a remote site that uh, <clears throat> Look, if, if I had to drive down or fly down, it would cost me the better part of about $1,000 to drive or $1,000 to fly. Um, so 300 bucks, $10 a month is a lot smaller price to pay in the long run. All right. Catch you later, YouTube. Thanks for watching. See ya.